I want to talk about a righteous crusade I have come across on Twitter today. But before I talk about that, there's a little setup that's necessary to completely understand what this crusade's about. Recently, First Four Figures put up a poll on whether or not people wanted a Sally Acorn figure. Sally Acorn being a character from Sonic the Hedgehog, more specifically the Archie comics that have ended years ago. That really is just the basic setup for the crusade that I've seen on Twitter today. Now you may ask how that could set anyone off. It's just a question. Answer yes or no and go on with your life, right? No. This is much more important. This is about the entire Sonic community, the fandom, the series as a whole. Or at least that's how it came across when I came across this little crusade on Twitter today. These big brain points are brought to us by Amy Roselover over on Twitter. Don't send them any hate or anything, but I just want to talk about it because the username really does show you why this happened and the divide that's in the Sonic community as a whole. There are so many different types of media for Sonic from over the years, those being cartoons, comic books, games, toys, plushies, and every other type of merchandise you can think of. There's a lot for fans to like and dislike about the series. So when it comes to something like this, people get a little heated. Before I start showing and reading these tweets, I just want to say this is over a figure. A single figure. Nothing more, nothing less. Let's start off with the first tweet that they put out about this subject, shall we? So in the first tweet, they say, Everyone vote no for Sally at URL. Absolutely no reason for these toxic fans need any sort of merch to fuel their love of a character that doesn't exist anymore. Stick with nothing and accept it. You won't get this figure and it will be made sure of. Hashtag Sally Acorn. Now, this is already a bit of an extreme reaction in my opinion, but whatever, it's one tweet, it's not that bad. They just really don't like the character. Whatever. But no, we continue on. More tweets. It gets worse and worse with every one. They quote tweet a few people and tweet some more stuff about voting no on the poll, which I'm not really going to focus on because they spammed a lot of that and a lot of them are just kind of copy pasted. So I'm not going to worry about those, but I will go into some more of the big ones that I think are more of a problem in my opinion. They're also very toxic with the people who are excited about this poll and the prospect of getting a figure for this character for no real reason and they go in on them and are so rude. Again, I'm, I'm not going to go through all of those because I would be here all day if I read every single response they made. I just want to read the bigger tweets. Buckle in boys and girls because this is a pretty long thread for this one. So they start off. Do you know what will happen if First Four Figures makes a Sally figure? It will just make the Rally for Sally group and other fans of her to have more hope she'll be noticed by Sega and brought back. It's going to be a nuisance. Let a character stay in the past and quit trying to bring her back. Then we go to... Like a majority of the Sonic fandom doesn't even know who Sally is, and most don't even like her. It's a waste of time. It's annoying that you all pestered first four figures enough that they had to make a dumb pull for a character that doesn't even appear anymore. Next they say, I've taken matters to my deviant art group, and hopefully we can get the no vote past the yes, so a mistake isn't made by first four figures. No, I will not link it here because immature users like to flood it and ruin the place. I'll DM those who want to help. Those who don't really care about Sonic, anything really, just take a moment to follow the link and find the Sally poll and please vote no. Sally fans are obsessed with spamming this character in Sonic media and your time to make this vote helps prevent the mistake greatly. Thank you. And then in the second to last post, they just make the link to the poll and tell everyone to vote no. And then in the last tweet of this thread, they hashtag first four figures, hashtag Sally Acorn, hashtag rally for Sally, hashtag don't rally for Sally, hashtag please help, hashtag SOS. 
Holy shit, that SOS was really needed because we're gonna die if a Sally Acorn figure is made. Holy shit, it's a squirrel. Are you fucking kidding me? Not in my Sonic community. So, let's break these down a little bit, shall we? Let's talk about the first post. I mean, it's just ridiculous. Wow, some of the fans of that character will have hoped that she's coming back? Like, are you fucking shitting me? Yeah, no, people like characters, and yeah, they would like them to appear in the series that they appeared in. That just makes sense. Are you fucking kidding me? It doesn't even make sense why you would say something like this. Because if it was a character you'd like, you'd be doing the same thing. And arguably, you could say the same for Amy. There was periods of time when she wasn't in the series for years, and... She still got merchandise and then ended up coming back as well. So I don't even realize what the argument is here. But anyways, it doesn't matter because it doesn't make sense. So let's just go on to the second tweet. In the second tweet, she talks about the majority of Sonic fans not even knowing who Sally is. Which, if they didn't know who she was, they wouldn't vote yes for the figure. So why are you worried about it? Clearly, it wouldn't be a problem. But it is. Or at least it is to you. And they act like first four figures didn't make this decision on their own. They act like people went out of their way to pester them and ask them for a Sally figure. That never happened. I've never seen that happen. And you provide no proof of that. So why would you say it? Because I'm going to guess more people pester them about a figure of Amy than they do of Sally. Just because of the sheer fact people don't really care that much so that's pretty much it for that second tweet so let's go to the third now they've taken it to their deviant art group and oh fuck we're all scared they have their army there we're all gonna die they're gonna take down the whole facebook group first four figures you better watch out they're gonna get you i don't know what you're gonna do they're not gonna buy your sally acorn figure that they voted no for oh shit and that's that's about it for that one because I mean it it's just stupid in the last relevant post she tries to rally non-sonic fans which I doubt work but it's still the fact that you even tried to do that just so you could get a character you don't like to not have a figure is so beyond ridiculous why ruin everyone else's fun just because you don't like a character because it ruins your idea of what a perfect ship is for Sonic which Sega doesn't even allow anymore anyways, so why care? The last tweet I want to talk about is completely separate from this thread, and this was completely after the polling was done, so there was no more voting to be had, but they keep going on anyways. In this tweet, they say, Something can still be done. Those who are in the group that aren't pestering me, try to find an email or resort to the post. I know they've been removing comments, but if we are loud enough, we can still put a stop to this. They won't do it if they see how much drama there is. In the tweet just below that in a thread, just state why it shouldn't happen. Include the description of what the Rally for Sally and Sally for All groups do to Sega and Sonic Team with endless begging when it's been stated she isn't returning. They can realize this is a mistake and scrap the idea so this figure won't happen. And wow, holy shit, how out of touch can you be with the fucking internet to realize that putting that tweet out was a bad idea? Like, you want to find personal emails and shit of employees from first four figures so that you can pester them so they won't make the figure? Isn't that what you were complaining about the Sally fans doing? Pestering first four figures? Yet here you are? Are you fucking kidding me? I also want you to remind you that there's an Amy figure already in production by First Four Figures, and this person is still complaining. What is probably their favorite character, if I had to guess based on their account, already has a figure from them, and they're still complaining. They want to ruin everyone's fun for no fucking reason. Now, I'm making this video because this is a problem with a lot of the Sonic communities, and not just when it comes to merchandise, but to games too. There's so many different styles of Sonic and so many different fans from different ages. So many likes and dislikes. There's just no way to unify them all. It's never going to happen and it shouldn't be expected to happen. There are so many people in the community who believe you have to share the same opinions and I don't understand why. We can have all of these things happening at the same time. 
it doesn't mean that they actively need to be developed or have merchandise for them but it doesn't mean that you should shit on someone else when they get what they want there's no reason for it and it can be so toxic sometimes as seen here there's so many more examples i could show of just even this incident alone from other people on Twitter and whatnot. I'm not going to go into all that. I just wanted to use this one example because it was so extreme and it stuck out to me. But with that, that's the end of the video for me. And if you like the video, leave a like and maybe subscribe if you want to see more. And if you want to see me cover something else specific, leave a comment below.